you probably saw by the title of this video that it looks like there's only one recipe in this video. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video explaining that I was going to be doing my uploading a little bit differently. So going forward, I am going to be uploading three times a week with one recipe per video. And I'm just hoping that this is gonna make it easier for you guys to find specific recipes on my channel, as well as make it easier for me to do just more fun and creative things instead of packing three recipes into each video. So we're gonna try it out for a bit. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. Start off by boiling a large pot of water for your pasta. And once it's boiling, you can just cook the pasta according to the package directions. And I'm using bow ties, but it also works with any type of pasta. Then you're going to chop up two cloves of garlic. And then you're also going to cut up some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. In a pan, just add a little bit of olive oil and saute the garlic first. And then you can also add some salt and pepper at this point and just cook it for a few minutes. And then you can add the cherry tomatoes to the pan as well and keep cooking those on about medium heat until they soften. In the meantime, we can make the sauce. So we're going to add three quarters of a cup of cashews to a blender and about three quarters of a cup of almond milk or non-dairy milk. And then you're going to blend that until it's smooth. And if you don't have a high speed blender, just make sure to soak the cashews a few hours before you make this. So then once the tomatoes have cooked for a few minutes, you can add this sauce to the pan. And then to thin it out, we're going to take a little bit of the boiling pasta water and add that to the pan as well. This is about a quarter cup. And then for spices, we're adding paprika, parsley, and nutritional yeast. Once the pasta is done cooking, you can add the pasta to the pan and stir it around so that the sauce can thicken a bit. This should only take a couple minutes. Bridge and I love having this with uh, bread dipped in olive oil and balsamic vinegar. I actually posted a photo of this recipe on Instagram. I'll insert a photo of it here, but I got so many comments of people asking for the recipe and that's why I wanted to start with this recipe today. So I'll just show you exactly how it was in that photo. So we started with just some greens. We just served it with a few pieces of bread on the side. Um, and then we also have the olive oil and balsamic here. Bridget was already eating some of this, so <laughs> she isn't gonna have an authentic reaction, but my will be know a, good. yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> mm. It's so good. It is really good. And it really is like a summery pasta. Like it yeah. doesn't feel like heavy or anything. Yep. Shit. <laughs> and it's all oil. <laughs> the, uh, just like the creamy pasta, but then when you get a tomato with it, you just have like a burst of flavor and mm -hmm. it's just like super, super good. Mm -hmm. And then if you added a little bit more garlic and maybe some like fresh veggies, you could eat it as mm -hmm. like a chilled salad and it would be really good. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a wrap. Woohoo! Mm. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.